Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would do a review of these new paints that I got. Um, so I picked these paints up from Amazon. Now recently I got an Amazon voucher. Um, the reason I got this was because I use a website called Top Cashback. Um, and on this website, whenever you're shopping online, whether it be Amazon, maybe Timu, The Range, different retailers, it does kind of depend on whether retailers offer cash back. You can shop through Top Cashback um, and then you start earning sort of cash back and money. And I hadn't touched my account for about a year and it built up with quite a bit of money in there. So you can either get the money withdrawn to your bank account or you can... Um, convert it into a gift card and I was umming and ahhing on what to do and I thought if I just put it in my bank I won't spend it it will just sit there or I'll just waste it on food or something so I thought you know what I'll convert it into an Amazon gift card and you do get a little bit of a bonus if you do convert it into a gift card I was considering maybe a Waterstones gift card but then I thought you know the price of books I'm not going to get that many and I don't really need any more <laughs> and I thought there's more stuff I'd want on Amazon so um, I will leave a link to Top Cash back down below if you've never used it. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I would recommend it. Um, so I have got a whole Amazon haul coming, I think next week now. But this is one of the items that has already arrived because some of the other stuff I'm waiting for. And it is these paints. Now I will leave links to these paints down below as well. I really wanted these for a while now. So these are watercolored paints. Um, and these were around £22 on Amazon. And they're by this Himmy. Um, that's what it says. And I don't know if you can see down here, it's crossed out, but it's it's this bit here. Now, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it gouache? I'm not really 100% sure. But I've wanted some of these types of paints for ages. They are basically, I believe, watercolour paints. But they're different to any watercolour paints I ordered. And I did, basically, I have a load of metallic watercolour paints and I wanted some plain ones. And I did get some a month or two ago from Timu. It was in a haul video. Um, however, they've, they're very powdery. They're, um, they're a powdery paint anyway. But when they go onto the paper, like this powder comes off and I just don't like them. So I've got rid of them and I thought I would give these a go. Um, like I said, I think they're £22, so really affordable. I saw someone on YouTube, I would say maybe a a while ago, and they had some similar paints, but from AliExpress. But I don't really like shopping on there because the delivery is very, not, not very good. But anyway, I um, got these ones from Amazon. So they come in this really quite thick, chunky pink box now they did ones in blue box as well i believe i think they're the same they're just a different colored box this box was wrapped in cellophane and then placed inside an amazon box which when i first got it i was a bit like oh no because it was like tipped upside down and these paints are gonna be okay but i was really impressed so you open it and this lid can actually come off um the top part and it comes with if I can get it out this paint palette to start with um, which I really really like this because it's quite a big open space here so this will be really good for mixing colors um, and yeah I was trying to mix some colors the other day and I was struggling because I didn't really have anything suitable so I love this and the paint palette I've got already is very very um, used so yeah, and it comes with this little pack of brushes, which look like this, which I actually think are really nice. I really like the size of these brushes. So I'm going to open these first. Um, I, I'm not an expert on paint. I don't think I'm that great at using paints, but I did want to review these because I was so impressed. I was not going to bother. I was going to show you like a swatch when I do an Amazon haul, but... I thought, no, I'm actually going to show these. So these are the brushes. So this one actually has a bit of... Um... Is it not focusing? I don't think it's focusing, but this has a bit of a... Um... 
what's it called plastic on the top um, and then these ones are just like this and that one as well so they feel quite nice brushes I'm not really an expert on brushes so I can't really comment if they're good brushes or not um, this bit down here it feels wooden um, it feels really nice quality to hold so I'm excited to, and I, to give those a go and then these are the paints so this is why I was impressed because at first I thought oh god they've been tipped up in the box but no they have this kind of cover on top of the whole paints now from what i could from what i've seen before this type of paint comes like a liquid paint almost like you would get if you got a some tubes of paint or bottles of paint like acrylic paint poster paint that type of thing um which is really interesting because like i said all the watercolor paints i've had have come very much powdery solid paints so I'm just going to get one out to show you, if I can. So this is like a purpley colour. So on the top, it has, if you can see if it focuses. There we go. Some of the colours, um, Ultramarine is what it's called, 042. Yeah, they've all got different colours on. Um, this to me is like a purpley colour, it looks, or maybe a dark blue. But it looks like this. So you can see the colour underneath and then it's got this film on. Now, I'm going to just peel this one off on camera carefully. So this is what it looks like. Oh gosh, this is not going. So um, let me just pop that there a second. So it peels off. There's some on here. I need to actually find somewhere to put this. It's going to not go everywhere. Um, trying to think. I'll put it on this bit of paper here. So um, that's fine. I've got some on my hands, which is not good. I just wiped that off. I need to actually wash my hands afterwards. Um, as you can see, I've got some on there. So it's a bit fiddly to take off. But it comes like this, so it looks very like a liquidy paint um, and like that. So I feel like storing these is going to be a nightmare. Um, I've heard these can dry up as well, so um, you've got to be careful with that. But you need to store them obviously flat because otherwise they're going to go everywhere because they don't dry solid. So you've got to bear that in mind. Um, and it is quite big and chunky, so yeah, this does feel really good though. It feels like really good, like plasticky material. So that is the first colour. Um, I'll just move that to us to one side. Let's pick another colour. Let's pick this one. So this is Rose 029. Um, this is more like a pinky red colour. So there's loads of different colours. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go off camera and peel all these off and then I'll come back and do like a testing clip with you. Okay so I've taken the um, lids off them all. That was a messy job. It I've kind of cleaned it all up now more or less but it got all over my hands. Um, yeah like really messy. I would recommend um, maybe having something near you to put the lids on like a bit of paper or bin or whatever. Um, also making maybe get some wipes because I noticed my hands were getting dirty and then as I was lifting up another pot that was then getting some of the pa uh, other paint on etc etc anyway it's done now so this is what they look like yeah a lovely array of colours uh, the only issue is there is I think one or two where I'm a bit unsure about the colour for instance this is meant to be white but to me it looks like it's got something in like a yellowy colour or something and it's not me, I've not put anything in it, I've not um, accidentally tipped some other paint in it. That's just how it was. And the same as this paint here, if you can see, it's got like this orangey bit on there. And it felt like very liquidy, almost like an oil, which was a bit strange. But I don't know if I mix them together, it might be okay. But I do really like the colours. Um, you get, I can't think of anything that's missing it, a nice, some nice pinks purples, greens, good row of greens. 
some reddish colours maybe. I think that's like, that's a red and then that must be an orange. Browns, there's another orange there, yeah. I don't know if that's orange or that's like an orangey red, some browns, yellows, whites. The only thing it hasn't got is a grey. Yeah, I've noticed it hasn't got a grey, but that's fine. That's not really the be on end or I don't really use that colour much anyway. So this is what they look like. Now, I have no idea how to use them really, because as far as I'm aware, they're watercolour paints. But at the same time, they're already very liquidy. So I'm like, you don't really want to be putting too much water in them. Um, you don't need to like get the, what are they called, in here, like one of these water brushes and activate them because they're already activated. So I assume you would just get it a little bit of water on your brush and just use them like normal paints. Anyway, I'm going to be using one of the brushes that they've provided just because I want to give it a go. Now, which one shall I use? I think I might use this one here. So I've got a bit of paper. I'm going to test it on. This is just regular white paper. I think it's just from the works. It com comes in a pack. Um, I think it's designed for kids, to be honest. It's not card, but it's not like really thin either. It's actually fairly okay paper. So I'm just going to get that. So I've got to try and make some space here. Um, I've got a little pot of water. I need to be careful because um, I've got some stuff on the side. So. Now, please bear with me because I've never used paints like this. I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, it might turn out rubbish. I've also got a bit of tissue to wipe the brush because, um, yeah, I will notice I put them back. When, when I took them out, I put them back in the order that they came in. They're not in colour order. You might want to, if you were doing this yourself, put them in a different order because obviously there's like purple there, purple up there. I mean, the green's all together, but what colour should I start with? I really want to start with orange. This orange looks so nice. So I've, what I've done is I've just got a little bit of water on my brush um, from my water pot. And then I'm just going to take a little bit and see what happens. So it feels like, it feels, it feels just, it's weird. It feels like acrylic paint. And that's what really, really interests me and... It's kind of strange just because I've never used watercolour paint like this. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I went on like acrylic paint as well. But it went on really thick, really like... Yeah, I like that. I don't know. It just seem, seems too much like acrylic paint for me. Um which is strange. Imagine if this whole video, it was like actually acrylic paint, but I've just been under this assumption that it is watercolour paint. I'm 100% sure this is meant to be watercolour paint because that's what, um, you know, I'm sure it says on the listing and stuff. So just strange. So I've tried to like kind of um, water the brush a little bit but like get the brush kind of clear but still got orange in it just gonna have to I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and um, just put some music over it whilst I try and complete and do the other swatches so I'll just do that now <laughs>
So I've done all the swatches now. I've left it a little bit to get some of them to dry. There is still like some of the other ones that need drying. Um, I do apologize, my swatches are terrible. I'm not very good at swatching. I messed up a little bit, but it's just a general gist of what the colors look like. So I'm just gonna move the camera up a little bit. Okay, perfect. So hopefully you can get a bit of a view um, of some of the colours. So this is what they look like. I'll show you this way as it's easier to show you. So obviously some of them I've not really done very well in swatching. Um, but for instance, this orange here is dried. Like that, is it dried? It's dried and it feels rough but it's not powdery from what I can tell, which is good. Um, yeah, it's not coming out powdery, um, but you get like a really lovely array of colors. Um, that pink is my favorite. I love pinks like that. I really like the orange as well. I think the orange is a really lovely orange. The pink, pale pink color, which in here looked like there was some orange in it or something a bit oily. That has actually come out pink. The same with the white one. If you can see, it looks like something's in there. It has come out white. I think maybe whatever's in there must be some kind of chemical or something which is used to kind of um, make the paints the way they are. When they went on, they did go on and it felt like acrylic paints. It just had that kind of consistency. Now, I don't really know. I need to look more into how to use them because maybe I'm using them wrong. But yeah, I didn't want to add too much water because they're already very liquidy, but they did go on kind of a bit like acrylic paints. But I think these are going to be so lovely in my colouring books. I really want to be able to use the um, tray as well that they provided the palette, that's it, to mix some colours and try some different colours out. I think you get such like a really, as I showed you at the start, the kind of pots they come in a really good amount of paint like for the price I think it is really really good I would really recommend getting this the only issue is it is quite heavy a little bit heavy and it is big so it does take up a bit of storage space and you need to store it flat because the paints are basically liquid so you do need to do that but otherwise I would really really recommend this I will leave it linked down below I will leave a link to top cash pack down below because if you get yourself some cash pack you may be able to buy these or something else that you want um but for now i'm just going to leave this video here do subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this and i'll see you in my next one bye